start our fourth lecture related to number theory set relation and poset module 1 pcc cs 404 so if you can remember the last three lecture especially in the last lecture we have introduced some relation which is reflexive symmetric transitive and anti symmetric okay if you forget this please listen again the previous lecture lecture number three to, re to remember the relation of reflexive symmetric transitive and anti symmetric there is another relation we here we uh, in this lecture we introduce is rst relation or equivalent relation now we use another, another relation in this particular lecture we have to learn or we try to learn a another relation that is called partial order relation so first we introduce what is partial order relation and what is poset poset okay a relation r on a set a is called a partial order on a if r is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive in other word r satisfy the following condition here we re again remember this uh, all the concept in the last lecture we will introduce a relation equivalence to relation that is r is t relation reflexive symmetric and transitive here is the relation are reflexive anti symmetric and transitive what is reflexive relation for your for your uh, for your mind it's just give uh, the remember of the previous one is a r a where r is the relation a r a for all a belongs to capital a if we consider we just form a relation on a with the cartesian product of a cross a r should be the um, r should be the subset of the cartesian product of two set we have already learned this concept so the relation r is called the reflexive relation according to the diagram if in the vertex if we, in the vertex a there is a self loop then we say that it's a reflexive relation in the other word in the word term a r a for all a belongs to capital a that is r is reflexive for anti-symmetric when uh, for all a comma b if a r b and b r a both the relations satisfied that should be only happen if a equals to b then we say that the relation is a anti-symmetric relation and the third one is the transitive relation we have already see a particular example in the real life field brother relation is a transitive relation friend relation is a transitive relation for all a comma b comma c belongs to a if a r b and b r c both are hold then if it is happen that a r c also hold then we say that r is a transitive relation if a relation r satisfy all these three relation then we say that the relation is a partial order relation he said a together with a partial order relation r is called a partial order set that means here we consider if we consider a set a where r is defined a relation if this relation satisfy all the three condition that is reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive then this set is form a poset with this with respect to this relation it's very important with respect to this relation it may be happen that if we define another relation the the set should not be the uh, poset or the partial order set here we mark is at the partial order set it is marked as poset p o o partial p order o and set a set in a hoy poset so here we consider uh, some important result in poset in a poset if we consider a is a set and lesser equals to here we mention a symbol lesser equals to that doesn't mean it's always lesser equals to it is a way of notation of a poset and the relation is defined by lesser equals to if for any two element a comma b a lesser equals to b we say that we just say that a precedes b and b succeeds a 
it is a way of a representation if a is unrelated to b then b is called the succeeder a is called the preceder if a lesser equals to b and a not equals to b it may be happen that a equals to b or a lesser equals to b if a not equals to b then we say that a is strictly precedes b and b is strictly succeeds a this uh, these are written as a lesser b so we move to the another definition that is called comparable and non comparable element in a poset what is the meaning of comparable and incomparable if we recognize the term comparable if we recognize the term comparable what is the meaning of comparable comparable means you can compare uh, this two element or anything non comparable means you cannot compare the element according to the relation so here i give an example to clear your idea what is the meaning of comparable and non comparable so if we consider s is a set with the uh, relation lesser equals to here we consider the relation is lesser equals to be a poset uh, again we repeat lesser equals to that doesn't mean it's lesser equals to the way of representation of a relation under poset is lesser equals to that this lesser equals to maybe the divisibility relation this lesser equals to maybe the difference relation maybe the addition relation maybe anything but the way of representation is this lesser equals to okay b a poset and a lesser equals to and a comma b b any two element belongs to s if either a lesser equals to b and b lesser equals to a then we say that a and b are comparable if it is happen that if they are not then we say then we are called it's a non comparable set so here it's an example to clear your idea it may be happen that a lesser equals to b and b lesser equals to o and b lesser equals to maybe either this one or this one should be happen then we say that the a and b are comparable otherwise it's not a comparable element so here we take a example to clear your idea let s be a set consists three element 1 2 3 what represent ps ps represent the power set of the set a here we have to mark what is the meaning of power set power set of s the member of power set should be power set s power set s power set of the set is member r equals to 0 element is a set of itself the first one is phi it's a empty set phi is a subset of every set next we consider the single term set 1 next one is 2 next one is 2 next one is 3 next one is 3 next one is 3 next one is 1 2 that is another subset of the set s so power set represent all the collection of its subset another one is 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 another one is 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 and the last one is set itself we already know that every set is a subset of itself so 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay 
so these are all the subset of the set is so this one is your power set clear this one is your power set so if we consider ps is the power set of the set s which is represented in this uh, this represent all the subset of the set then if we collect a is an element a is an element 1 comma 2 and belongs to ps and b is another element 2 comma 3 that is also belongs to ps therefore a, a, a should not be the subset of b because uh, one is not a member of b similarly b is not a, a subset of a so b should not be the subset of a so we can conclude from this for that particular example a and b are non-comparable a is a non-comparable to b but if we consider a is a, a is a set this one and a2 is another set 1 comma 2 which is a subset of ps a is a subset of a2 therefore a is comparable to a2 clear that is the definition of comparable and non-comparable set so move to the next definition this one totally order set totally order set it's a very important concept totally order set or linear order set or a chain if we consider s is a post set with the relation lesser equals to is a post set and if for all a comma b belongs to s either a lesser equals to b or b lesser equals to a for any two element for any two element again we repeat the term for any two element for any a comma b then the post set is called the totally order set it's the linear order set or a chain we just clear the concept using this particular example for you consider a poset z lesser equals to here lesser equals to represent exactly the meaning of lesser equals to if we uh, the if we relation lesser equals to mean exactly uh, lesser equals to that means for any two element a lesser equals to b is either a lesser b or a equals to b then for any two integer a comma b here we consider the set of all the integer that means if we consider any two integer then these two integer either they are same or any two of them there must have a relation in lesser equals to okay so the, if we perform the z set according to the comparable element then the relation becomes exactly if we write the relation is this the relation should be uh, if we consider minus one this one is lesser equals to zero this one is lesser equals to one this one is lesser equals to two that means if we collect all the element of the integer set you can just perform a chain exactly the form of the chain in a single line so it is called the linear it is called the re linear relation you can plot the point in a line so it is a linear order set okay i think clear for you and next consider another example here which is not a linear relation n is the set of natural number lesser is the relation means a lesser b means for all a comma b belongs to n a divides b if it is possible if it is possible here uh, the lesser equals to means the divisibility then you can easily observe that the natural number should consist 3 and 5 2 element but 3 doesn't divide 5 or 5 doesn't divide 3 so 3 is not uh, comparable with the 5 so uh, this should be a poset but uh, the relation uh, should not uh, 3 and 5 are not comparable so you cannot form a chain so it's not the chain relation or the order relation it's an another example of order relation so uh, I think you all clear about the concept of comparable, uncomparable, poset and the relation which we defined in this particular lecture. Thank you for learning and listening.